What's up, ladies and gents? Today's Monday, push day, shaking up that good stuff. This is, uh, I'll say it's about a third of a scoop, a little bit more than what I was taking before I was doing quarters. So, third, so I'm gonna need the energy, even though I'm not supposed to be having that much caffeine. So, it's all good. It's cold, man. Teeth. Just started hurting. <laughs> we out. All right, heading out to the, heading out to the gym. Like I said before, today's push day, and uh, we'll see what we can do. I took Saturday and I took Sunday off. I was feeling lazy. But I also wanted to like carb up and I overdid it big time because I think on Friday my body weight was like 210. And on Saturday I went crazy on food. It was good. I had a nice day Saturday. And I think I went up to like 212. <laughs> and then Sunday, I had, whew, I had a bunch more food. So this morning, guess what, yo, your boy jumped all the way up to uh, 215. I know that is, like I say that, a lot of water in doo-doo. So I know for a fact that after this workout and a little bit of the cardio that I'm going to do, 215 would probably be 213, maybe even 212. Quite possibly even 211. I'll never forget the most weight I've ever lost. Or I guess you would call it weight, because the when I stepped on a scale, I weighed like 222 or something like that, 223. Went to the gym. I did like maybe 45 minutes on the stairs. Crazy leg workout. And when I got home, I was like 216. I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> also using the bathroom a couple times. I went pee and also took a doo-doo. And <laughs> so I went down to like 216. I lost like six pounds. I was like, God damn. But um, anyways, on the bench, I'm gonna be going a little heavier than 225. Cause remember, we're all about getting this work capacity back. And I don't really want to go too low on the reps right now because I'm slightly bulking up just for it's not even a real bulk. A bulk should last you like eight months to a year. I'm already bulked up. Anything over 200 pounds for me is considered a bulk because your boy is only about five nine, five nine and a half. Actually, the half is very important. And if I throw shoes on, your boy is almost five ten. I throw some Tim's on. Oh, <laughs> Be looking at five ten and a half, cuz. <laughs> no, nah, but I'm manlet status, so anything over two hundred pounds is big on me. Well, it looks big on me. Not back in the day when I was fat, but um, I was like two hundred and forty pounds, and I wasn't even considered big. I was just fat, had a big belly, I always had big arms, even when I didn't work out. But it was just a lot of meat, no muscle. But um, so. I'm still just gonna try to eat as much as possible till the end of the year and maybe even middle of January. Maybe even might take all of January to keep accumulating mass as well. And we'll see, just it's all about how good my numbers come back. So I'm gonna go a little heavier than 225 and then I'm gonna use that for the week. I was doing 10s. I was doing uh, my first day back, I did 4 to 10 with 225. Then my second day push, my second push day, I did 5 to 10. Now I might go to 235, maybe 240, maybe even 245. But everything's paused. I wanted to keep the reps between 8 to 12. I don't really go over 10 on the bench, so I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I'm thinking I might just use 235 and uh, call it a day on that. 
and then if I could do a five by 10 or a four by 10, I might just do stick with four by 10s, cause that five set to 10 was hard. I mean, I'm not trying to sound like a bitch, you always gotta keep leveling up, but I might wanna increase the volume on other workouts, like the dumbbell bench, I said workouts, exercise, like the dumbbell bench, uh, press, that's another exercise I'm really prioritizing is because that day I went ham on the standing press when I went like the 160 for eight I was doing all sets of eight I really want to get to a, like back up to 225 I want to see if I can hit 225 for a double so prioritizing that too so I'm going to add more volume to the press and just micro load my way up I love micro loading you can kind of, you can literally see linear progress, even when you're not a beginner anymore. When you're a beginner, you can increase the weight every every workout. When you're intermediate, you can't. That stops. When you are an advanced lifter, which means progress has stalled completely, linear progression cannot be done unless you literally micro load and like undulate the periodization, like you're doing sets of five one day to the sixth another day with the weight you might reload those different rep ranges that's one of the best ways to get stronger so don't care what you got to say <laughs> it works for me so anyways I don't know that's that's pretty much it I see you at the gym What you witnessed was three sets of 10 with 235. This is my fourth set. And I'm very mad at myself. Because look at this bar speed. That's four, five, six, seven, eight, bracket. I, oh man, I should have never stopped. I, I know I could have got those two reps. They would have been really hard, but I got in my head and I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. This bar speed's going too slow, so I racked it. And I didn't even do the last two reps. Usually I would rack it, rest a little bit, like a rest pause and get the last two reps, but I was pissed. So I just moved over to the press 
and this went great well not really <laughs> i just did i pyramided up to my working weight with 155 and i was doing sets of six the first two sets i got six then the third set i cranked out seven and then the fourth set i didn't rest that much and i only got five but i did like a big drop set you'll see it was like i i went from 155 to 135 to 115 to 95 pounds and even 95 pounds humbled me that shit was wild yo i believe this is the fourth i don't know third or fourth set something like that wasn't really checking but i love the press man it is my favorite exercise i'm definitely going to be this is going to be a staple in my push day from now on probably forever <laughs> and i don't like doing it seated i'm not a fan of the seated press so you will always see me standing and this glare is crazy the lights in the gym were super bright today i don't know why but anyways this is the drop set from hell right here i kind of sped up the video a little bit but the thing is still long i mean it's clipped so i dropped all the way down to 135 just took 10 pounds off and then right, right so that's like maybe 20 seconds of rest got right under the bar cranked out five more this was heavy i got i was racked i was like whoa this is heavy as fuck <laughs> I, was, I probably should have i could have saved some more time if i just used the uh just right if i just put the plates on and didn't put the clips on but see i threw them shit down because when the weight gets lighter my form is always a lot better so this was crazy and this was a very long workout too i took my time i have my day off from work today so i always take my time on mondays mondays is usually my day off but this drop set was my shoulders my upper chest and everything was just on fire yo and it's lightweight but i'm definitely gonna be making some gains off of this right here this was my favorite part of the workout the bench forcing pissed me off everything just kind of didn't go according to plan i wanted to do that force at the 10 to 235 but it's all good it's all good because i'm doing pauses i know damn well if i was doing this shit touch and go I would have got, I probably would have got five sets of 10. Pausing is way harder than uh, touch and go. And uh, then I moved on to the flat dumbbell press and see this woman almost bumped into my shit. <laughs> that would have been a one way ticket to Snap City, man. Snap City, man. And I uh, only did five reps with uh, the hundreds. I didn't even have my feet up because my chest was just, I was just exhausted after the press workout. I mean, the press exercise. And I uh, dropped down to 90s. And this is my new thing I'm probably gonna stick with for a little bit. I did three sets of flat dumbbell bench. Then after that, I brought the bench up and I did three sets with the incline dumbbell bench. I only use 80 pounds. And I tried to get uh, three sets of 10 at first, but I was only resting 90 seconds too. Gotta get the work capacity back. I believe the first, the first two sets I got 10 reps. Then the second set, I got like eight. And then after that, I did another big drop set with the incline press. And probably not gonna be talking anymore. So you can just see. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video.
that is the end of the workout ladies and gents very happy with how it went i would have been more happy if i did the last two reps on my bench press with 235 i don't know that eighth rep went slow so i was scared didn't want to get buried but it's all good we're going to do it next time hold on Whew, we're doing a lot of work outside in this parking lot damn it's crazy like look got this machine going by and shit <laughs> hope you can still hear me but anyways full routine will be in the description or maybe not because i've done it before and as always my friends please leave a like rating hope you enjoy <laughs> <laughs> and as always, my friends, thanks for watching.